everyone. Welcome to the Artist Free Booth here at Creativation 2020. And I have Ashley with me. Hello. Thank you. Yes. And we're going to be showing you some really fab new products, things you haven't seen before. So let's move on over and we can talk through them. So first of all, they have four new marker packs. Um, we've got some really fun ones. So tell us about them, Ashley. So we have our pastel pack. We have our Nomi Botanical. We have our pack of black with different size tips. And then we also have our primary pack. And so the black also has different nibs in it. So whilst our colors are still in the chisel, the black is going to have your different nibs. So if you want to use any electronic smart cutters, if you want to draw with it by hand, you know, all those kinds of things, it's great for that. And then if I rotate this round, we can talk about the new substrates that you have as well. So Sure, yes. We wanted to make sure that we showed that there were different um, types of materials that you could use with iron-on ink. So we have a metal keychain, a maple keychain, and a plastic keychain. Mm -hmm. We have textured coasters, bookmarks which are metal, bag tags and all those three types as well. We have a decorative metal panel and a picture frame which can both be done vertical or horizontal, whichever you prefer. And then we also have some sublimation supplies to go with your iron on ink so that way um, you can have a successful project. And these are tools that sublimation businesses have used for years that are not available to the craft market until today. Yeah. And so there's something like that is the uh, project mat which is perfect because you can do at home projects like the smaller projects you don't need a big, big heat mat and things exactly and you can also use it it's a great like thing to stamp onto it's a really nice surface but it's heat proof so if you're doing like your shrinky dinks you know you can use it for all your other crafting as well exactly so great. it's made out of silicone so it'll take a lot of heat and it won't be releasing anything um, back into the air right all right, so let's move on to these. So I'm super excited about these. I love this ink pad. So all of a sudden you can take your art spree markers with your iron on ink in and you can color. You don't have to draw anymore. Exactly. So I can't draw to save my life. I can color really well. So what they did is they've taken that ink and put it into an ink pad so we can all use all of our beautiful critter stamps, mm -hmm. our animals, our mandalas, all of those things. Exactly. And then we've also added to the range some back to front sentiments. So these are reverse sentiments, no mirroring. Thank right. you, Ashley. Yes, no mirroring <laughs> and required for our same stamps. Same with the stencil. So all of it is already mirrored and reversed for you. Really, really easy. And so you can use it for everything. And they're a nice size too. Um, and it's an acrylic block to go with it with grid lines so we can line these things up. And then I'll let Ashley tell us about the more technical things. <laughs> yes, so we have a tumbler wrap, which we'll get to in a second so we can show you what that's used for. We also have silicone paper, project um, protective paper. So what's great about this is silicone paper has been used by sublimation businesses mm -hmm. for years. And what's great about silicone is it traps that dye so it doesn't get re-released anywhere on your heat plate or your project mat. And this, up until today, has only been available in sheets. Yes. And we know the crafters love rolls. So uh -huh. we wanted we to do. make that available <laughs> into a roll so you can add it to your collection. So we have that as well. And then we also have some more blanks. This is a poly canvas zip case that we made especially for us. This isn't available anywhere else. I love it. It's so the nice feel and thick. It's and it's bright white too. So anything that you color, you're going to get those true colors on as it's well. It's really nice. And also what's great is that it um, has a nice lining on the inside. So technically you don't need to even put anything in between right. to have it transferred. So it's really high quality. We also have pet bandanas in different sizes. So you can make so cute. Yes, those, <laughs> those fun projects for those fur babies. And then, so um, one of the blanks that has received a lot of attention this yeah, weekend is our, this. is our tumbler, our sublimation tumbler. And um, for the iron on ink with the tumbler, what you have to do is the first part of the project is the same. Uh, you color on regular paper design. Which we're going to do in a minute. Yes, we're yes. going to design on paper. And then you take our, our heat tape and you tape it on here. And then you take this tumbler wrap okay which is open on both ends and then you put it around the tumbler right. apply a heat gun just to shrink that tumbler wrap down so that applies the pressure yeah. and then you put it in your uh, craft toaster oven at 375 for five minutes and so that is how you get that little odd shape the little egg that egg shape right because as yep. you can see even on these downsides, we are able to get the design all the way right. to the bottom. So that's how we do that with that tumbler wrap. And it's so cool. I mean, if anyone's wondering about like the uh, sleeves that go on it, think of like the basket wraps that lots of us have done for events and things like that, where you put them on and then you shrink it with your heat tool or your hot hair dryer. Like that's exactly what that is, but it's going to do it on here, and then it's even more heat resistant to go in the toaster. Exactly. Oven. 
Yeah. And then we have our um, line of t-shirts. Um, they're great. You can touch them. They, they feel like cotton. They don't feel like dry. They're clothes. nice and thick, too. Mm -hmm. They're not like a see-through white, which I think is just really nice, too. Yes. Um, so then we have um, our heat tape, which I want to highlight for a second. So heat tape is really important um, in your iron-on ink project. It keeps yes. those projects in place while um, you're pressing, so that way it, you don't have any shifting or what we like to say um, ghosting. So we get those clean lines. So we have that available. It's green and it fits in your scotch tape dispenser. That's the great thing. But remember not to use anything like scotch tape because it will just melt and stick to your project. So you really do need the protective heat tape. And the other thing I wanted to highlight was the protective paper. So if you have anything really that irons on, the protective paper is great. If you're using easy presses and stuff like that, it is great for all of those things. And it stops bleeds of inks. So if you're like pressing anything on that you've already got and you're doing that on the thing, this is going to stop that bleeding. You know, I'm sure we've all had our heat mats and we've got transfers on it. Right. You don't have to worry if you use this on there. Um, so lots of different options yes. there too. And because it's made out of silicone, again, it can uh, withstand that high heat yes. that you might be applying without releasing anything back into Exactly. The air. And we should also mention the protective mat. If you have one of those oopsies on that protective mat, it will not release that ink back. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever used like the Easy Press mat, I know I've made a mistake doing a double-sided t-shirt and I've got my ink on it and it takes me forever to lift that back out. But that doesn't happen with the protective right, mat. Right, the silicone will hold that in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So lots of things. All right, let's make one. Yeah, let's do the fun part. So I'm using the new plastic keychain here, and I really like how you put trace me. So whatever shape you're doing, whether it's like the ornaments, the bookmarks, the first thing we want to do is take your pencil, and the pencil doesn't sublimate, does it? Right. So uh, pencil, pen, Sharpie, that won't transfer. So I'm just going to roughly draw around it. And all that does is just tell me really where to put my design. Um, you could add the little hole in the top if you wanted to, but whatever you need to do and then you could use one of the new back to front stencils you could take the new stamp pad which is awesome and my absolute favorite and this is the new reverse stamp this is friend and you can use it in a misty and things too it's not harmful or an acrylic block and you can just stamp out i could color this in or i could just sublimate it and iron it on exactly as it is now um, or you can take a regular if it's a pattern stencil you can draw through that um, and as I say, we have the back to front letters as well. And so once you're done, it's going to look something like this. I did my HH. Love it. Um, and we've got that variety of colors. So you can see what the uh, tips look like here. One thing to point out is you'll notice the colors look different to the tips. You're going to see the magic of that in a minute. So that's an important thing, I think, for people to know. Yes. Is it doesn't color at the end, but the end result will look like the tip of the pen. Yes. And that's actually the same for traditional sublimation. Like our lanyards, when that was printed out, it did this Creativation logo. Right. Wasn't as um, beautiful as it is right now. Yes. Um, so yeah, just like traditional sublimation, it's going to be um, a little dull and not exactly the same. So that's right. why you want to uh, reference the tips to see what yes. that color is going to come out to look like. Okay. So the next step is we need to go over to the heat press and then add it to our blank. So I'm going to take my beautifully colored in piece and my blank here. Now remember that your blank hole where that is because you want your uh, key ring or whatever your substrate is to be the right way up. Put it over and I'm going to use our heat proof tape. And again, it's in that little pretty scotch tape dispenser. You can see it. So you can put it in any of those. I have mine in a mermaid at home. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and then we're going to take our protective paper that we've already cut down, and we're going to sandwich it top and bottom. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put it into our heat yeah. press. So you always want to make sure that the blank is on the bottom and your design is facing the top of your heat press. So this is your little sandwich. We'll use multiple hands because we're holding things. Yes, thank you. We're gonna press this for 45 seconds. All right, so once it beeps, you know it is cooked. But I should also mention, because we're going to give it a second just to cool down a little bit, because uh, it's super hot right now. You don't just have to use a heat press. As much as you're going to want one after you start doing it, you can absolutely use um, like a household iron that has no steam holes, because you don't want any cold spots in there. And um, you can also use, if you have an easy press or any of those, you can use those kinds of things in there as well. Um, so you can see on our protective paper, there's just a little bit of transfer on there. And that's why we use it, so it doesn't go onto your iron or your heat press, whatever you're using. Um, and then we're just going to leave it to cool for a few seconds. Again, you can use that protective mat that we had to let it cool. So now we get to do the fun part, which is the reveal. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off of here with our tape. 
And here you can see my finished keyring. I mean, so cute. And you can see those colors really match up now to what we were expecting. And then I can add my key tab and my key ring and turn it into one that I can hang on my bag or my craft bag, maybe something mm -hmm. like that. So really, really fun. So these products were just released at this show. They're brand new. We're super excited to share them with you. You can watch out on the Hedgehog Hollow channel or follow at Artist Spree on social to find out where you can buy them, when you can buy them, because they'll be available really soon. And it is addicting. So yeah, so much fun. And yeah. we're so happy to be here sharing it with you guys. Yeah. Thanks so much, Ashley. And we'll see you again soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye.